Hello YouTube. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Shari Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error Windows Defender is turned off by any mistakes. Here we have 8 methods to fix this error. When your computer infected by any malware, this may cause Windows Defender to be turned off. It's also possible that Windows Defender gets automatically disabled after installing antivirus software. In such situation, you will get an error message when you open Windows Defender. You may have to find out further to get everything back up and running. Hence the following tutorial video shows you how to turn on Windows Defender on your Windows 10 PC. That is what we are going to do so watch the video and subscribe channel ok. Let's start follow this method. Let's start follow this method. Method number 1. Check if Windows Defender service is running or not. If the Windows Defender service has stopped for some reason, you may want to check and start it again. Let's see. Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. Then type services.msc into the dialog box and hit enter. It will open a services panel. Then scroll down the list of services until you find either Windows Defender antivirus service. Then double click on it. In the properties box from the startup type drop down menu. If it's manual or disabled, select automatic. Then click on the start button and click on apply and then click on ok. After this process, then defender service will enabled. You should be able to open windows defender on your PC. Ok, that's it. If this method does not work with you, follow the next method. Method number 2, turn on windows defender from the settings. Open the windows settings by pressing windows logo key plus I. Then scroll down and select update and security. Then select Windows Security and then click on Open Windows Defender Security Center. It will open Windows Defender Security Center home screen. Here also you can turn it on Windows Defender. Okay. On the Windows Defender Security home screen, click on Navigation button and then select Virus and Threat Protection from the menu list. Next click on Virus and Threat Protection settings. Then next under Real Time Protection. If it's off, turn on real-time protection toggle switch. Now Windows Defender should be enabled and running on your computer. If this method does not work with you, follow the next method. Method number 3, turn on Windows Defender using command line. Let's see how to enable Windows Defender using command line in Windows 10. Right click on the start menu. From the menu, select the command prompt admin. In the command prompt window, type this command and hit enter and wait for the validation success specified value was saved. Ok, you can copy and paste this command from the description box below. After the command has executed, then restart your PC and you will find that you can now access the Windows Defender application on your computer. Ok, that's it. If this method does not work with you, follow the next method. Method number 4, disable turn off Windows Defender antivirus in group policy. Let's see how to fix this error Windows Defender is turned off by group policy. Open the search box by pressing Windows logo key plus S and then type group policy in the search box. In the search results you will see group policy editor and then click on it. Then it will open a local group policy editor. In the local group policy editor under computer configuration tab, select administrative templates and expand it. Then select Windows Components and expand it. Then scroll down the list of Windows Components until you find either Windows Defender and then click on it. Next go to right pan under Windows Defender setting and then double click on turn off Windows Defender. It will open a page like this turn off Windows Defender. Then choose the disable button. You can read this content, then choose the disabled button and then click on apply and then click on ok. That's it. Close the window, restart your PC and you should be able to access Windows Defender without any issues. Ok. Now try to open Windows Defender. You are done. If this method does not work with you, follow the next method. Method number 5, change disable anti-spyware value data in registry editor. 
basically what it will do is it will change a value in the registry that is related to windows defender and the application will start working again on your computer okay let's see open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r and then type reg edit into the dialog box and hit enter to open registry editor next on the registry editor select hkey local machine and expand it then select the software and expand it then select the policies and expand it and then select the microsoft and expand it then select the windows defender next you go to right pan and then click on the key named disable anti spyware change its value data as 0 and click on ok close the registry editor and reboot your pc to take effect now you can access the windows defender application on your computer if this method does not work with you follow the next method method number six turn on windows defender using command line let's see how to enable windows defender using command line in windows right click on the start menu windows logo key plus x from the menu click on windows powershell admin in the powershell admin window type the command set dash mp preference dash disable real time monitoring space zero and hit enter after the command has executed restart your pc and you will find that you can now access the windows defender application on your computer if this method does not work with you follow the next method Met method number seven check if windows security center service is running or not if the windows security center service has stopped for some reason you may want to check and start it again okay let's see open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r then type services.msc into the dialog box and hit enter to open a services panel in the services panel then scroll down the list of services until you find either windows security service then right click on it and select the properties in the properties box from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select the manual then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok next go to windows update then right click on it select the properties in the properties box from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select automatic then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok next to find out security center it's important then right click on it and select the properties in the properties box from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select automatic delayed start then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok next to find out microsoft defender antivirus service then right click on it and select properties in the properties box from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select automatic then click on the start button then click on apply and click on ok after this process now restart your pc then windows security center service will be enabled you should be able to open windows security center service on your pc if this method does not work with you follow the next method method number eight run sfc scan using command prompt if you think the issue has been caused by the corrupted system files then you should consider using sfc scan to scan the system files and fix any corrupted files on your pc let's see how to run sfc scan open the search box by pressing windows logo key plus s and then type cmd in the search box in the search results you will see command prompt then right click on it and then select run as administrator it will open command prompt window in the command prompt window type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter now starting the scanning process this process will take some time please don't exit the command line window until you receive the message verification under percentage complete it will scan and fix any corrupted files on your computer when the process is finished you can exit the window
it will result in you being successful at launching windows security center service on your machine now you start your pc you are done i hope this video helped for you thanks for watching and supporting if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below your contribution is more confidence please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you next video bye take care